Hey guys, Money Man 300 back for some more Forza 6 videos here, and this is going to be a quick video running through the Alpine uh, Stars car pack that just dropped today, I believe. They announced it yesterday. Today is Wednesday the 28th. This video might actually be going up on the 29th, so a day later. But anyway, I want to roll through each one of these cars, take a quick look at them, give you my thoughts on them, and a little quick analysis on them. So first off, we have the 1992 Alfa Romeo Milano quad, uh, Quadrifoglio. Quadrifoglio Verde. So uh, this is a you know Italian uh, Alfa Romeo, kind of a you know the start of some of the the four door kind of sport car types. Uh, got a lot of speed and acceleration for an, uh, starting out in E class. Uh, pretty heavy though. Probably going to want to take that up to D and even on into C uh, if it's going to be competitive. I don't. I don't think this would be super competitive. If it is, it may be like an Alps car, uh, you know, momentum-based type car. Uh, probably going to be a little bit better suited for those kind of tracks. Next up, we've got what's probably, a, you know, the headliner, uh, um, you know, what you what people might consider the headliner of this, and that's uh, the new uh, 2015 Ford Chip Ganassi Racing uh, Daytona prototype and you know the significance in this is ford making their entry into uh, imsa uh in the 24 hours and this car is going to be running in the 24 hours uh, uh rolex 24 hours of daytona coming up this weekend uh gonna be uh, rolling through that and they got some they got some uh, former nascar drivers they're not former current <laughs> NASCAR drivers, uh, uh, guys that are out there, along with uh, IndyCar drivers, uh, Scott Dixon and Tony Kanaan. Uh, and then you got Kyle Larson and Jamie McMurray as a team uh, going to be running this car. So I don't know if all four of them are running this car, but uh, they're part of the team uh, that, that's going to be uh, running the Ford. So uh, that, that, you know, that's probably why the Alpine Stars dropped this week is because this car uh, making its debut in that series. Uh, next up, we have the number 15 Whistler Radar Cougar XR7. Uh, this is a former uh, IMSA GTO car back in the late 80s. Uh, somewhat of a dominant car that did really well in that series back then. Probably pretty cool R-Class car. Don't know if it's going to be competitive in R-Class or not. Um, you know, you take it up to the top, uh, but but it's going to be fast. Um, ton of acceleration. Uh probably kind of a beast to drive so could be a challenge it could be interesting next up we got the 2005 pontiac aztec i'm not gonna spend any time on this i don't you know i don't see any real use <laughs> use for this car uh maybe painters can have some fun uh make some stuff out of this mess around type of car but i don't see it as a serious race car and if it is i probably won't be driving it out there anyway so we're going to move on to the next one and that is the 1996 subaru s v X and this is just kind of a cool looking car. Um, yeah, I, I don't have a lot to say about it. Uh, pretty quick at 6 0 speed at D357 and 6 3 acceleration. You get that all wheel drive. You hope that the weight of it isn't going to uh, kill it at 3,500 pounds and it's not going to be just like another Eclipse or something that aren't particular, particularly competitive. Uh, we'll have to see what you can do. Um, to, to build it out so um we'll see I, I hope it i hope it's competitive it's kind of kind of a cool car and be fun to drive um but it's probably one i'm going to check out to see if we can make it uh, a good a good car maybe take it up into that b class range get some of the weight out of it be a killer acceleration um i'll have to think about that a little bit but that you got that car and then we got the 1967 sun Bing, or sun Jeez, I, well, I can't talk today. Sunbeam Tiger. This is a super interesting car, um, in that it has a V8 in it. So it's kind of a it's a British uh, Sunbeam being a British company. They but they went out and got a a the V8 motor from Ford, uh, a 289. I believe it's the 289 uh, that's in this one. And this could be pretty interesting. You bring this thing up. It's an E300. You bring it to the top of D class. Gonna have a nice speed car in there. We've got six, seven acceleration in E class, so that's pretty good. Um, this one probably a little bit of a sleeper. Gonna probably be pretty good potential leaderboard speed cars where I would put it. Um, depends on the engine swaps that it has in it too. I don't know if you would want to do an engine swap there, but I'd have to drive it and see. Uh, not terrible on the weight at 2,500 pounds. Um, get some of that weight out of there, get to the top of D class. Could be pretty, pretty good there and a lot of fun to drive. And then the last one we have is a 1974 Corolla SR5. Um, 
and that's just a, you know one of those old cars a lot of e-class cars in here how many is it got e-class e-class d e and e so we get like four cars or three cars four cars that start in e-class in this pack so yeah the 1974 corolla um kind of the start of you know that little mini uh smaller car back in the kind of the gas crisis days and um fairly underpowered not much to it uh this is probably something you got to throw a little engine swap in it maybe it takes the five seven i don't know be interesting if it does i have to go look at it i haven't taken a look and make it kind of a speed monster pretty light car at 2,000 pounds so there's probably some work to do that 88 horsepower um not going to get you very far there's probably some lawnmowers that got that much horsepower these days but <laughs> so yeah that was a gas crisis days and those things so but little engine swap in that you get that weight in there could be a monster in you know take it to the top of d class maybe even c so that's all the cars we got in this pack kind of an interesting pack a lot of lower class cars you know mixed in with uh with the p class ford in here and i'll have to see you know i think a couple two or three of these cars could be uh decent cars to take around the track and uh, start to play with them here pretty soon so anyways i'm gonna wrap it up with that thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next one later